Everybody has a list of items that they want to do at least once in their lifetime. Some fill their bucket list with life-changing moments like visiting the Taj Mahal or seeing the Dalai Lama. Other pack it full of adventures like bungee jumping or skydiving. And then there are those who simply want to learn how to cook a cordon bleu meal or experience weightlessness. Hi, I'm Kim Sullivan, and my bucket list kind of has a bit of all of that. And number eight on there is to have my own show. My own show that helps you accomplish an item off your bucket list. Welcome to The Checklist. You'll be surprised by how much we can check off right here in Montreal. Today's bucket list item was submitted by a good, hilarious, and outgoing Montrealer named Mike Saragossi. This item is so typical Montreal that tourists have been flocking to the Lachine Canal for over three decades to experience our waves. I hope Mike is ready to get wet because today we're checking off jet boating. This is the parking lot where he works. He parks for work. Um, it's nine o'clock in the morning. We heard that he was arriving soon. We spoke to his bosses. We moved some things around and we're gonna go surprise Mike with a day at Sautumutal. Let's go. I think I see him. Let's hope it's him. Michael Saragossi? Yes. <laughs> I am Kim Sullivan from The Checklist. Hi, Kim Sullivan. We got your email. Oh, that one from, yeah, weeks ago. Yep. Uh, you told us that you kind of wanted to experience an awesome jet boating experience in Montreal. Yeah, why not? I thought that would be fun. Yeah. Well, we uh, spoke with your bosses. We moved some meetings around and uh, we're going jet boating. I was going to say, it's like Wednesday morning. I was like, I got a full day ahead of me. But this sounds like more fun. It is going to be a lot more fun. Tell us why this has always been on your bucket list. You know, there's so many things to do in Montreal. There really is. And I've, I've done a lot of them. Um, but then there's some things that I just took for granted and I haven't done. And I've seen the, the ads for uh, the jet boating and whatnot. And I said, oh, I've always wanted to do that. And that's um, something that could be fun and maybe safe at the same time, but who knows? It's a little bit adventurous. So I figured, yeah, why not? Um, do you have a change of clothes? Because I'm not sure you want your suit to get wet. You know, it's a good thing uh, that I have gym clothes in the back <laughs> because I, I don't think this is jet boating attire. I don't think so either, but uh, you know what? We're going to be checking off Soap Mouton, so you better get ready. All right, this sounds, like, uh, this sounds like it could be a good day. Let's do it. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm psyched. Jack Kowalski, owner, president, I should say, of Saute Mouton Montréal. Hi. Hi, Kim. Thanks for coming down here today on a beautiful sunny day. We are so excited to be here because this is an item that is typically Montreal. This is the heart and soul of Montreal. You know, Montreal is the river in the mountain, and this is the most interesting two miles of the St. Lawrence River, over 1,200 miles. These spectacular Lachine Rapids right here in downtown Montreal, which literally is the birthplace of the city, the first stop on the river for the French explorers. I heard that these are the only rapids on the St. Lawrence. This is it. This is the only thing that's left. The river's totally flat out to the ocean, and uh, there was one rapid before, but it was washed out at Cornwall when they built the dam there so this is the only rapids on the St. Lawrence Mill River on its course from 1200 miles from Lake Ontario to the ocean. So the only place that we get to experience jet boating at its most wildest. Mm -hmm. Well this tour is unique to Montreal. There is no other city on earth that has a ride in the heart of the downtown that compares to this for excitement, for history, for fun, for exhilaration. Uh, this is number one. We became the top attraction in the city 33 years ago the day we opened and we have never given up the title. 
He did tell me that if you're not satisfied, you get reimbursed. How many people did you reimburse? You know, I've been telling people for 33 years from all over the world, if you come to Montreal and you do anything in this city better than our jet boat ride, Soap Mouton on the river, you don't pay for it. And not one person has ever said <laughs> they found something better in Montreal. Because not just in Montreal, there is nothing in any of the core of downtown of any city in the world better than this trip. Well, we're right in the old port. We're about to embark on a boat of how many people, how long does this take? Uh, the trip is one hour on the water, 30 minutes out in the rapids, going up and down through. The boat uh, is approximately 45 passengers, and we take them um, as young as six. We go up all ages, upside. You know, the fun thing about it is because, you know, this is not rafting. It's a jet boat that we can take people of all ages. Everybody wears a life jacket, and everybody can have the sensation of these class five rapids right here in downtown Montreal that they could never do on their own. In fact, since we've been doing the trip 30 years, where we go out on the river, we've never seen another boat out there but us. Well, this was Mike's item. He Mike. is the one who wanted to do this today. Is Absolutely. he gonna get wet? Uh, Mike, if you don't get wet, I will refund you right <laughs> up as soon as you get back. I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> That's the one thing that we gear. This is like swimming with your clothes on. But you know, the thing that makes this trip sp so spectacular, if it were just going out getting wet, it would just be another carnival ride. But the fact that we bring people, we take them in to the heart of the history of Quebec and Canada, the early French explorers, the St. Lawrence Seaway, how these guys came up and confronted the rapids, how they took all the canoe trips across the Great Lakes and opened up North America. This is what this trip is all about. Jack, I'm this, even more excited that this is on my checklist then. This is gonna be amazing. We should we should gear up. Yeah, let's get ready. Wear waterproof clothing. Uh, well, it's not waterproof, it's splash proof. <laughs> splash proof <laughs> clothing. Uh, good thing my mascara is waterproof. And uh, and then we're ready to go, right? We are ready to go. We're let's ready go. to go. All right, let's Thank do you this. very much. I feel like a minion. I was gonna say the same <laughs> thing. Yeah, let's do this. Minions on a boat. <laughs> <laughs>
good bit wet, like like kind of soakingly wet, but uh, it was pretty cool. It was awesome. It was really a great surprise. I'm glad you guys surprised. You kidnapped me for the morning, <laughs> and I got to tell you, it was a great, great experience. I was. It was much better than I anticipated. The water was warm, but uh, <laughs> we still have our hot chocolates now to warm up a bit. Well, I'm soaked right now. I have goose pimples everywhere, and <laughs> this, uh, this hot chocolate definitely comes in handy. No need for a shower. Are you going back to work? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going back to work. Sure. So we met the expectations of the checklist. It was fan fantastic. I really, uh, I really am glad I did this. Um, I'm glad I had it on my checklist, and I'm glad that we were able to do it. So uh, I guess we can say it's been. Yeah. Let's check. check that off. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank welcome. you guys. Great stuff. <laughs>